Hey there guys, it's Kim George here from Your Chic Geek and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the colors of an image using PhotoP. Um, now PhotoP is a free tool that is similar to Photoshop and I actually got this question popped up and this question actually popped up from one of my awesome group members in my um, From Publish to Profit course. For those of you that are interested, you can check that out. I'm going to talk about that here shortly. But um, I just wanted to show you how really quick and easy it is to use PhotoP in conjunction with a couple of other free tools to change images um, to change the colors of an image. So before we dive off, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Also, as I've mentioned, the course, <laughs> if you're interested in learning how to use um, branding to sell more low content books, you can head over to check out From Publish to Profit. That is my flagship course. And then also I have some freebies available. One is a swipe file and list of over 200 types of low content books that you can create and sell and then also a free masterclass as well and for you folks that maybe struggle with creating journals from scratch or you're interested in starting a journal business and you want to get a jump start on it and a faster way to do that you can head over to check out the journal creators collective where it is a membership where i drop new journal templates every month so if you're interested in joining you can check that out but let's go ahead and dive in so as I just mentioned, PhotoP is a free tool that is an alternative to Photoshop that you can use for changing the colors to images. And so what I'm going to be doing is I have downloaded some images and this is some flat clip art that I've gotten from Creative Fabrica. If you're not a part of Creative Fabrica, highly suggest joining. It is well worth the cost of the membership because of all of the things that you get access to. But anyways, this is the little um, set of cute Christmas known graphics that I'm going to show you quickly how to change colors to in a matter of minutes with PhotoP. So let's dive in. Okay guys, so we've come to the fun part where I'm going to show you really quickly how you can change the colors of an image in PhotoP. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Open, and we're going to find an image to change the colors on. I really like this little cute gnome right here with the cookies. This is really simple in a flat image. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open. Now, the color palette that I'm going to be applying to this little cute gnome is going to be more of a bluish kind of tealish color palette with more of a, you know, this kind of uh, these kind of colors. I really like the blues and like the reds and the brown. So this is the palette that we're going to use today for this example. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that you want to familiarize yourself with. So a couple of tools that we're going to use within color palette is going to be the photo bucket tool or the paint bucket tool, which is going to be right here. When you right click on this, you see they have a gradient and a paint bucket tool. You want to make sure that you select the paint bucket tool. Using and then the right here, this so is the color picker. And let's now, the thing in. that you want to remember with a color picker is that you can put up to four different color codes. And I'm going to show you that in a second into the color picker. So right now you can see that there's kind of like a brown and a dark, um, darker red or kind of an orange red right here in the color picker. But if you wanted to use these colors in the back, which are black and white, what you would do is click this little button here to switch the colors. Actually, I'm sorry, you're going to click this first and then this is going to pull up those other colors. And then if you wanted to switch these around and maybe use the white as the predominant color, then you can just click on this one time. You see it's going to change it from white to um, change it from black to white to white to black, so on and so forth. OK, so that is how that works. All right. OK, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to easily apply these pretty colors to this specific graphic. So what I'm going to do is come over to colorpalettes.net. And what I like about this tool is that whenever you're using this, all you have to do is come over and find a color palette that you want to apply to your designs. And then it is going to automatically give you the hexadecimal code, which is used to associate to a color that you can drop into a design to actually get that color. So for example, if you were looking for something Christmas related, you can come over here and you can just go to like maybe a red or a green as the primary color. You're going to click on that primary color and then photo P is going to show you all kinds of photo, not photos, <laughs> all kinds of color palettes that have red in them. So for example, if you wanted to use this as a color palette, you can just click on this and then it's going to take you to this specific palette with 
all of the colors that are in it, okay? So that is why I love this tool. It just really does take the guesswork out of finding colors that pair well together. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. So the first things first is I'm gonna change the color of her little hat here. It's a red. So instead of using that red, I'm gonna use this darker red. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this color. You see that it's copied. Now I'm gonna go over to Photo P. I'm gonna click on this color here. I'm going to paste the color that I just got from colorpalettes.net. I'm gonna remove that hexadecimal or that pound sign, and then I'm gonna click okay. So you see that that red has been changed. So now what I'm gonna do is make sure that my paint bucket tool is selected, and it is, because you can tell, because it's right here. And then I'm just gonna apply this to this design. So you see that it's already changed that, right? All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is come over and find another color to use. So for her dress, I'm gonna use this really pretty light blue color. So I'm gonna click copy to copy this color code. I'm gonna come back over to Photo P. I'm gonna click on this again. I'm gonna right click to paste this color in here. And I'm gonna click OK. And then now I'm going to change the color of her dress. So you see that the color has been changed. And then I can come in and change the little cookies in here. So I'm gonna come back over here. And maybe I wanna use this little dark color right here for the cookies. So I'm gonna go back to Photo P. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna highlight, paste. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna click OK. And then I'm gonna come in and I really don't like this color for the cookies. So let me go ahead and click to step backward and I'm gonna use a different color. I'll use this. I know this isn't the color of a cookie, <laughs> but we're just gonna use this for the demo, okay? I didn't think this all the way through, guys, so forgive me. <laughs> all right, so again, you just wanna basically come here and then you can right click and you can paste your color code in here. Click OK. And then from here, you can just change the colors of the cookie, okay? And yeah, so there we go. And then if I wanted to change the color of the cup, maybe I could use this color here. So I'm gonna click on this, and then I can come back to Photo P, and then I can go here, click Paste. All right, and then that's our cup. So you see, so within a matter of minutes, I have changed the colors from this image to what it previously looked like. And so once you're done and you're happy with the way that your image looks, what you'll do is you can go to File, you can go to Export, and you can export this in either a PNG file to keep the clear background or a JPEG, okay? So I would recommend exporting this as a PNG file, giving it a different name. So instead of GNOME 007, you can just do like a version two, click to save that image, and then you can save it and then you can upload it into your design tool to use as an image for your specific design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video tutorial. If you have any other questions for me, please let me know. But this is definitely my tool of choice. It's free, it's easy to use, and I've been using it a lot lately for this and for other small projects. So have questions, let me know. Um, you guys take care. Happy Friday. I, I had planned to have a, video, have a video out on yesterday, but I was too tired. I have a lot going on. So, But I hope you guys at least enjoyed this one, okay? Take care, and I'll see you guys soon.